But Major League Baseball playoffs is underway as we got some ALDS highlights between the two-seeded Astros and three-seeded Detroit Tigers. The Astros finished with 95 and 67. Meanwhile, the Tigers were 94 and 68. Here's a look at the rest of a bracket as the Indians and Diamondbacks won their respective wild card games. Pitching for Houston will be Francis Martes, 10 and 8 with a 4.00 ERA. Lots of walks, lots of strikeouts. He's shown some flashes this year, but has been very inconsistent. As let's go first inning, Carlos Correa getting dirty with it. A couple batters later, that'll be Yasiel Puig, shop and gap. Josh Bell would score from first, and the Tigers would take a quick 1-0 lead. As Yasiel Puig gets the RBI double, batter after that. Paul DeYoung hits a single in the center field. Puig would score, and now it's 2-0 Detroit Tigers. As Michael Fulmer on the mound, the 2020 Cy Young. Didn't quite have as good of a year this year as he did last year, but he still played pretty well as his first batter will be Alex Bregman. He gets the corners painted. Batter after that would be Ben Gamal. He's just a window shopper because he's just looking. And why not complete the trifecta as Carlos Correa? What are you swinging at, buddy? Now let's go second inning. It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's a bomb as the Astros get on the board with a home run from Kyle Seager, the older brother of Corey Seager. Now it's 2-1 to one as Paul Dayan, Swinger. Nice pitch right there for Martes as James McCann, the former Tiger, would go down on the changeup. Bottom of the third for Houston as that's going to be a nice shot into center field as George Springer, the former Astros, only makes the play on it, but a run does score, so we're tied up at 2. But Bobby Bradley, he's going to make that 3-2 to two off of a dinger and the bat flip. As Bradley, who hit nine home runs last year in the playoffs, all of which were in the ALDS, might I add. As the Astros infield is more chemistry than a science project, turning the double play. Now in the fifth inning, Fernando Tatis goes down on the 12-6 curve. Bottom of the fifth, Carlos Correa, or Alex Bregman, sorry, he better double-check that swing. As now Yasiel Puig up in the sixth. He launches a nuke, you might as well call him Kim John Union, as now it's 4-2. Puig's first home run of a ball game. Now Jose Altuve, he's only five foot five, and he strikes out there. Seventh inning now for Jake Rogers, the catcher, and he goes yard, making it five to two. As Jake Rogers, three hundred and fifty-three feet off of Josh Fields, as CJ Crone he strikes out looking. Michael Fulmer still in the game. Eighth inning for. Randall Gritchick, he goes down swinging. Now, top of the ninth for Alejandro Alonso as he sends that one high and deep and gone into right field. And now it's 6-2 to two Detroit Tigers as here's Felipe Rivero on for the save. He had 44 in the regular season as Carlos Correa goes down swinging. The Astros' last hope is Jose Altuve as he's only five foot five, but he's seven foot in heart as Altuve hits the home run. But it doesn't matter as Kyle Seeger goes down looking and the Tigers win game one of the ALDS. Final score, 6-3.